Hello everyone. Uh, we are at New Wei Ming Law Group. So today's video, we are going to talk about H1B lottery and H1B application for this year. So in the past, our law firm has helped many applicants to receive their H1B approvals. And uh, here we have some frequently asked questions and answers to share with the potential applicants. So uh, together with me is my co-worker, uh, Mr. Don Forrest. So we are going to have a question and answer session here. So let's start. Question one. When is the window for the H-1B lottery for this year? For this year, 2022, the registration window has already opened on March 1st and will continue until noon time, March 18, Eastern Standard Time. Time is limited, so hurry up. Okay, yeah, that's important message. So after receiving the message, the next question is, well, who can register for the H-1B work visa lottery? Either the employer or the designated law firm, in our case, Nui Wei Ming. The individual employee as beneficiary cannot register by himself or herself. On the other hand, even if the individual employee is not in the United States right now, the client's employer or their attorney can still register uh, for H-1B lottery. Okay, that's good to know, thanks. So now we know who is eligible, who can register. So now, if someone wants to register for the H-1B lottery, what is the process? Well, the process works as follows. If your company works for our law firm, namely New Wei Ming Law Group, we will do it for you. A United States Citizenship and Immigration Services online account is required in order to complete the registration for lottery. Okay, so we have repeatedly mentioned that this is a lottery process. So if I want to increase my chance of winning the lottery, can multiple employers register for the same individual? Here's the answer. Theoretically, yes. However, those companies must be either unrelated to each other or have legitimate business needs for each company and each position. When filed by related companies, the positions must be genuine and usually cannot be exactly the same. Okay, so we wish everyone the best of luck. Now, after registering for H-1B lottery, when and how will the applicant receive notification from the USCIS? Usually by the end of March or early April. However, in the past two years, uh, the USIS was able to free up additional spots for new rounds of selections. The result will be emailed and also updated in USIS online account. Okay, you mentioned in the past two years. In the past, there have been rumors that uh, the New Year's H-1B application lottery will be held in a different standard, different procedure than past years. Is that true? No. Uh, there were rumors that lottery priority will be based on salary. Uh, such rule changes did not actually happen. On the other hand, individuals who received advanced degrees from U.S. institutions can have, high, can have a higher chance of winning the H-1B visa lottery. Okay, now background information aside, next important question many applicants want to know, how can the law firm, New Wei Ming Law Group, help the applicant in the H-1B application process. New Wei Ming Law Group has helped scores, many applicants, to receive H-1B approvals, including initial applications, extensions, transfers, responses to requests for evidence, and appeals. Send us an email and we will provide you with detailed information. Do not miss the registration window this month. Okay, that's important message, reminder. So, by the way, the email address for our law form is info at nwmlaw.com. You can find that on our website or just search New Wei Ming Law Group. So, now, let's say, if an applicant, after the registration process, uh, wins the lottery and uh, can proceed with the application, how will that happen? Is there like a timeline and uh, how the applicant can proceed? Usually the H-1B application must be filed within 90 days after the lottery result is known. If your employer registered for a lottery by itself or through another law firm, the employer still can switch to New Wei Ming Law Group to complete the subsequent application process. This has worked 
for other clients in, uh, during the past several years. Okay, that's good to know. So now the last question, we talked about well, how to proceed after the applicant wins the H-1B work visa lottery. What if the applicant does not win the lottery? Is there any alternative arrangements that can allow the individual to continue stay in the U.S. and work in the U.S.? Yes, there are other alternatives. Let me explain. You may still use other visas such as O-1, L-1, J-1, or F-1 to work, or use H-4-E-A-D, L-2-E-A-D, J-2-E-A-D, or apply uh, US, for a U.S. green card directly and use EAD to work. Contact us if you have any additional questions and we will be happy to respond uh, as soon as possible. Thank you, Dan. Okay. So again, if you have additional questions, you can check our website of our law firm or send us an email regarding your questions on H-1B work visa or your questions on immigration in general. Thank you.